Hello everyone, Rosemary here from the Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Hope you're all keeping well and enjoying the Halleganza. Can't believe it's a year since I went to Lavinia Stamps sh shop in Wales and spent the, the weekend with them. I had a fantastic time, so I hope you're all having a fantastic time this year if you were there. I'd like to share this tutorial for this card that I made um, using the new stamps and a couple of the old stamps. Um, I wanted to do a, a Halloween theme as we're coming up to Halloween. So I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Thank you very much. So to start with, we're going to do our background. And my piece of card is six inches by six inches. So it's six inches square. And we're going to start with the background first. And for the background, I've used the medium sized um, sun, uh, moon mask. And I'm just going to put it there and just come just off the edge of the card. I'll stick that down. And the colours I've used for my background, I started with carved pumpkin. Carved pumpkin distress ink. And I'm using a makeup brush. So I'm gently going to load up my brush with ink and I'm just going to randomly try and follow along to a little bit of what I did earlier for my card. I'm just going to randomly place some orange in the background and then I'm going to mix some other colours in with it. And then I'm going to use seedless preserves. So I'm getting my purple brush and I'm going to load that up with ink as well. The good thing I like about this Lavinia Stamps mat is that if you, as you notice, it holds your ink pads in place. You don't have to use your other hand to hold it down. So they're very, very good for holding stuff in place and as you can see my card doesn't move on I'm gently going in between and going over some of my orange area just to add a bit more colour to my Halloween background not to move my mask hold my finger on it just so it stays in place so that's my purple and then I'm going to use a some grey not the black soot, I'm using pumice stone. There it is. I'm using pumice stone distress ink. <clears throat> I'm going to add a bit of grey into my background. I'm trying to go in between some of the areas that are still cream coloured. So I used cream coloured card for, and this is multifarious card. <clears throat> and then I'm going to use a little bit of pink. Just to add some more colour. blend those other colours in together. And there we have our background. So that one was worn lipstick. I did use tea dye as well on the other one, so let's add a little bit of tea dye too, just because we can. Because there's still some creamy bits around the moon. There we go. 
nice colourful background. I'm going to now oh, wipe up the ink that I've got on my worktop. I don't use wet wipes anymore. I just these are my cleaning cloths for my that I buy for my kitchen when you want to quickly wipe your surface down. And they just do just to go. I don't put them on my crafting stuff, but I just use it to wipe up my inks. So that's our background well on its way. So the next thing we're going to do is our grounding area so I'm going to do the grounding area now and I'm using black soot distress ink so I've not got much grounding area just a little bit and I've got a nice big fat juicy makeup brush with this colour black And gets it on nice and quick. I'm always worried I'll get black ink everywhere. our background nearly ready to go I'm going to clean up clean up so the next thing we're going to do is going to highlight our moon oops so I'm going to place my mask back over my moon so I'm going to do it in seedless preserves So I'm just gently brushing around the edge. I'm using seedless preserves because it's in the background as well. And I thought it might look nicer. <coughs> Make sure that hasn't moved. Just go around this side as well. And there we go. our background coming along nicely once all the ink soaks into the background <coughs> it sort of all blends together better so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp our castle so I'm going to get my stamping platform And my stamp is already there. And for this one, I am using the Far World Castle with Versafine Claire Nocturne. I'm just placing it on the edge of the card pressing them quite firmly because I want to try and get it done I've just knocked my camera sorry if that went a bit wobbly and I don't want me that's it and there we go beautiful it's perfect. That's just what I wanted. 
and we'll just wipe the stamp. And we'll place it back in its packet. Now our pumpkins I'm gonna stamp by hand. I only really use a stamping press a lot for black. So hopefully this will all go okay. The pumpkins, well I call them pumpkins, they're actually called lunar lights. So we're going to use lunar lights. And we're also going to use Versafine Summertime to stamp this. I'm going to put that on my stamping block and hopefully it won't come off. Right, so I'm putting my card sideways because I always find it easier to stamp that way. And I'm just going to check. just going to check I'd like to check everything's okay yes everything's beautiful okay so I'm going to keep that there and I'm just going to stamp up my lunar lights so my first one I'm going to have coming down quite low into the moon That looks nice and straight. And I've done so that this one here is inside my moon. And there we go. And then I'm going to ink up again. And my second one, I'm going to bring a little bit higher. Making sure it's straight. And down we go. Worried about that. And once again, the third one, I'm going to bring up even higher. I'm going to put it just there. And that's our lunar lights stamped. This is how I store all my Lavinia stamps now. I've just packaged them all up into these plastic wallets. And they go into um, a very useful box. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp our birds onto our Lunar lap, lunar lights. Okay, so the next thing we're going to add is the new stamps from the bird collection. It's really pretty stamps. So I use two of the stamp, oh, two different stamps. I use the smaller ones. So I used these two here. So this one and this one. So I'm going to use black Versafine Clear and I'm going to stamp my little baby one first which is going to be stamped up here. <clears throat> A scrap paper. I want you to be able to see. I'm just placing him on top of the lunar light. 
let the ink soak into the card and there we go so the second one facing in the opposite direction yep the second one is sitting on this pumpkin here uh, this lunar light here there we go and our third bird is sitting on this one here There we go. <clears throat> I'm going to put them back in the packet. And the next thing I'm going to stamp is a pumpkin carriage. I just absolutely love this pumpkin carriage. And so that's that's our new pumpkin carriage. And I'm going to stamp this one using the plat stamping platform. So I'm going to place my card there. And I'm going to place my pumpkin carriage so that it's just coming in. I want to have enough room to put in the new stamp Nia as well. I'm going to get Nia out of her package. This is Nia. So Nia is going to go there. She'll go a bit closer, but yeah, but she's got enough room to fit. I've got enough room to fit Nia in. So I'm going to put my carriage there. And once again, we're using VersaFine Clear. It's a very tight hold on this one. Once again, press down nice and hard, just making sure you've got all areas pressed in, and hopefully, perfect. So, we can now put our pumpkin carriage away. And the rest of the stamping will be done with a block. Oh, Nia. Yes, we will do Nia on the stamping platform as well, actually. Just... But sometimes there may be the odd occasion where we don't let it soak into the card. Multifarious card is absolutely brilliant for stamping on. she is so now we don't need our stamping platform anymore we're going to put Nia back in her envelope so actually I think the next thing I'll do is the um, sandalwood words winter spice it's called the new words are called winter spice and this is them here. Now I eat these up with morning mist. Morning mist. So I bring our card back in and our acrylic block. 
and I'm going to stamp this using second generation. So I'm going to put my first stamp up in that corner there. Oops. And then I'm coming over to here, but I don't want to go in my moon. So I'm putting my second one. And then I'm just going to put some over near. There we go. And that's that done. So I'm now going to put my little spice words away. So the next thing we've got to do is our tree. So we're going to use the sacred tree. I'm only using the branches. And once again, I'm stamping these in black as well. <clears throat> to go along with the theme of the card, which is Halloween. So stamping them onto there. So I'm going to put this underneath my mat. I don't get no black ink. I'm just stamping up the branches. I'm going to start in this corner, coming up close to my bird as I can get. And there we have our card coming along nicely now. So there's not much more to do. Basically, we've just got to stamp our leaves and our plants at the bottom. And our leaves are also from the new stamp set. And they're called an oak leaf flourish. And I just used seven, one, two, three, four, actually five. And then down the bottom, I'm just using this one from our flower collection, which I'm going to put in the grass or the dark area at the bottom. So I'll start with the flower. So I'm using this one here from the flower collection. Once again, I'm using black. Got a little bit on my acrylic block, so I'll wipe that off. And I bought one up over here. And then I'm doing another one coming the same way underneath. And that's that stamped. And then the last thing we're stamping is our oak leaves. There's two in here and I'm using the small one. Once again, to go along with the rest of the theme, I'm stamping in black. My first one here, hanging from that branch there. And there we go. So that's all our stamping done. So all we have to do now is 
is colouring our pumpkins and our lunar lights. So for this, I use sparkle pens and a small paintbrush. A small paintbrush. So I just squirt a little bit of water on the side there. And then for the lunar lights, I used Harvest Moon. Whoops, don't splash that in. And then we're just going to paint. Paint our lunar lights. So I'm just going to turn my card around. And wipe up this. And I just went over. Need a bit of kitchen malt. I should have mopped it up a bit. I'm going to pick all that up now. I hope you can see that reflecting in the light. It looks very pretty. And that was the harvest moon. And the next one is for the pumpkin. prefer the other colour actually so I'm going to swap back to Harvest Moon and a little bit of water Clean my brush. And then the next one I used was the green, a little bit of the green. For the stalk on the pumpkin. There we go. So that's the stalk on our pumpkin done. Don't need no more green anymore. Then I use some yellow sparkle pen to highlight the windows. In the castle, and then next color is brown. A bit of water. Spread the brown out a bit. For the wheels. So 
So there we go. It's starting to sparkle now as it's drying out. Can you see the pumpkin sparkling? I hope so. Beautiful. So that was it for our sparkle pens. And the last couple of things to do is... Here we go. Right. So the last thing to do is just do your highlights. Right, so on my last one, I did highlight my moon in yellow. I actually think the cream is quite nice. If you want to highlight it in yellow, just get your... Circle aperture comes in the kit. Place it over. Place it over your moon. And with your yellow brush. Here. Just go round. I don't want to. Oh, look at that. It's quite bad. Don't know where that orange came from, but never mind. A few little speckles in our moon. Just go round with your circle mask, usually before you stamp. So, with our clear jelly roll pen. I'm just going to go around and highlight. So I'm looking for all the parts that are aimed towards the moon because they're the bits that will pick up the moonlight. And also what I did was I highlighted the bird wings just to give them a bit of just to give our birds a, a bit of a wing and then highlight the birds as well I'm going to do Luna's wings, uh, Nia's wings, sorry. And Nia. Just lift it up to make sure that all the last bits are done. Because when you've got a nice bright light underneath it, you can see where your silver pen reflects. And I say, I'm sorry about that. It actually adds texture to the moon, I think. And the last thing I'm going to do, or the last few things I'm going to do, is I'm going to highlight my flowers with an orange pen. And that's our card finished. So here's the original. As you can see, they never, ever, ever turn out exactly the same. There's not my oh, I don't, don't say I've finished. I haven't finished, have I? Because I haven't added the edging. So let's just add our edging to bring our card in. So we need our black distress ink again.
Okay, so there we go. That's that done. Let's put a nice bit of white card there to hide up that black mess. And that's our finished card. Okay. And this is the original one again. So once it's mounted up, you can put a sentiment around the edge as well if you wish. But there you go. I hope you've enjoyed my video. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Good luck, everybody, with the competitions and the freebies. And I hope that you'll all enjoy your goodies once you receive them. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye.